So this is the Marantz CDR1. It is the first ever audio compact disc recorder. It worked for a while, but then I got some problems and I discovered somebody spilled some coffee on the whole machine. It was real dirty and molding and the coffee also got inside the, the transport. So then I thought I just buy this CDD522 which has the same transport and I just put the transport in the Marins. Uh, this, this, this one is converted to a uh, duck. But the connection to the laser pickup, it was just a different, uh, uh, different flat cable. So I tried to put the original flat cable to the laser pickup of the of the CDD five five two, but unfortunately it didn't work. Oh yeah, here I made a converter PCB. So this is the flat cable of the Phillips, and this is was connected to the. Marins. So this would be the original flat cable. Anyhow, now the, the, the transports are very expensive for this one. So what I did, I took a very cheap transport like this and made it work in the in the Marins. I put some uh, some pictures later. But here's a, a quick look. of the cheap uh, transport inside the inside the Marins. I had to make this PCB. It is a uh, a diode array amplifier for the HF uh, high frequency uh, diode signal and also for the error signals for the focus and the radial servos then it originally has the SAA7350 uh, noise shaper chip and I made this extra board with the two TDA fifteen forty seven and that's sounding really really wonderful. It's really I heard some model ducks but yeah this this duck it sounds just really nice. It's copied, the, the layout is copied from the Marins uh, CD10. Inside the CD10 it's also called PD16. I just made a copy with, uh, with the AutoCAD. Unfortunately there is no room for the original uh, input-output uh, print for the the balanced balanced input outputs you can see it or it had the balanced uh, IO audio input and output so yeah with this uh, new transport it of course cannot do the rec recording anymore it's only for playback but with this uh, with this new uh, DA converter it's it's just really really a nice player and then I made a few modifications 
uh, in order for the digital input to work. So I can use this one as a uh, as a duck. So I can use it without the CD in it. And uh, yeah, right now it's connected by Toslink to my uh, computer, so I can play the audio. Uh, so yeah, that's one benefit that's left over from uh, this player being a, a recorder at one time. It it has the SP diff uh, receiver in it, so I can use it now. So let's see if we uh, can play some music. I put it on the external. <laughs> and just choose between the CD and the duck. 